You know, I really miss this place. Sure, living in a giant tree is cool and all, but this, this is something else. This is a project that I'm passionate about. Three Fox Hole, by the way, Three Fox is right there. This is a, this is a project I want to continue. This is a project that has lost all the guardrails on the little highway here. That's a shame. Hi, Mumbo. Um, this is something that I look forward to working on. You know, as much as much as the the omega tree is mine now, um, it's not really mine. It doesn't feel like mine. I didn't I didn't build it. Sure, I improved it tenfold. It's way better now than it was before. But it's just not mine. This here, this is mine. This is all mine. I um, I'm looking forward to the day that I can work on it again. We have to work something out with Eskal. Oh. Oh, what a coincidence. Check out the chat. Oh, Eskal says, hey, Beef, we should talk about things. Okay, Eskal, I'll be right there. Oh, hi, Eskal, how are you? Hello. So you said you needed to talk to me about something? I think we should swap back. I mean, if that's something you really want to do, I guess I'm, I'm all right with it. Here is your deed, Vintage Beef. Oh, thanks, Eskal, I really appreciate it. Here's yours. Boy, if it's one thing that Eskal guy has, it's a sense of timing. I can finally get back to working on Three Fox Hole, and it, it worked out perfectly. I even have a design planned. Right over here is gonna be, can I get on this platform? I sure can. It's gonna be the location of our next building. It's gonna butt up against this sort of alleyway right here. I'm gonna have a wall or maybe even just a, a, a railing so that you can look over onto the um, highway, I guess. If you, I can't believe he removed all my tire right. Oh, my diorite is gone. What did he do with it? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, this building is going to be um, over here. It's going to be relatively tall, probably probably a little taller than this one. Might be a little shorter than that one. Um, it's going to have a little entrance here on the side. That's like the side door entrance. The main entrance is probably going to be there. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be good. This section here, by the way, I think, do I have, I do have dirt on me. Oh my gosh, it's almost as if I was planning this whole thing all along. Um, this section here, I'm gonna make sort of like an alleyway. So so maybe the road turns and turns into um, a park, uh, not a park, sorry, a parking lot is what I meant to say. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool if there was like a little parking lot here. I might put a little walkway here, but probably not. I'll probably just make this all road with like a little parking spot thing. Road is complete. Um, now I gotta start building the building. Here's the thing. I want to use diorite and probably this stuff right here. Maybe not the brick. Maybe the original blackstone. You know, the one that's the unprocessed blackstone to build this building right here. I keep saying build the building. And I just like the way it sounds. I don't know if I have enough of it. Um, I left one space here for a little sidewalk that goes all the way down. I don't think this building is gonna survive. Not the building itself. The actual uh, space for it is going to survive. I might move it over there. I might modify it a little bit because I want the road to come down this way and then um, probably around the back. I hope. I actually have not planned this out very well, have I? Oh, you know what I'll do? I could just have it be like a dead end here and then this building can, um, yeah, start right here and then we'll have another little parking space area here or kind of just like a dead end for the road. But anyway, that is what's going to happen. Or I might bring it around, depending on the, the the space I have. Either way, I am ready to build the building. But I think I need to collect more blackstone and diorite. Let me check my chests real quick. It looks like this is all the andesite I have. And this is all the blackstone I have. I'm pretty sure I'll need more than these guys. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll start, I'll start building the building. And then if we need more, I'll get some more. Tiny little progress update. Here is the, oh, green experience kinetic energy. That is unfortunate. Here is the front of the building. So I'm gonna go with like this cubey theme here. So the rest of the building is gonna have these cubes and stuff kind of like um, as, I, I don't know, just a, a, an architectural feature. Uh, but the building's gonna be a lot taller than this. I love the way it looks when you're walking down here. Like this is the feeling that I want. <laughs> Need assistance, he might. Um, so I think it looks really, really good. Back here, I believe what I'll do is I think I think I just want this just blackstone. Let's try that. Let's try that and see how it looks. 
all the way up like Fat Joe. Do, 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 do. I cannot believe I'm still doing that joke, honestly. Um, okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, so now we have to figure out the rest of the sides. This side, the back side, and the other side. I have ideas for, oh, and I guess this side as well. Hmm, you know what, this side I might, since it's just like a little alleyway, I don't want to put too much detail, I might just like, do mainly these blocks, with a little, uh, a little of the regular andesite built in there every once in a while, because we don't want it all to be kind of like, um, smooth and stuff, we want it to look a little, a little worn, that's all, just a little tiny bit worn, so yeah, I might just, uh, slap a bunch of these guys on the side here, and then we will figure out the rest. I think I've got walls number two on the side here and three figured out. Again, I'm going with like the whole cube theme. I really like the way it's looking. Very, very brutalistic. It's not like a lot of my other buildings here. And most of these are not brutalistic. There are a couple which I would call brutal. Like this one is probably pretty brutalistic. But this is very, very brutalistic. Believe it or not, that is a form of architecture. So I'm going to continue this pattern around here at the bottom, and then we'll start working on probably the back wall or that side wall, which I guess are the only two walls remaining. I'm happy with it so far, though. I've prettied up this side a little bit, and uh, I was going to start to work on the back or the other side, the only two remaining walls, but this is all I have left in terms of um, polished andesite and andesite, and this is all I have left in terms of blackstone. So we've got to go do some mining. Ah. And while I'm collecting a bunch of this andesite, it might be a good time to tell you guys all about Omega Minecraft. That's right, it's a public server free for all to play. We have the Zoo SMP going, SMP1 and Zoo SMP2. There are two Zoo SMP servers. And then we've got a couple of mini games. We've got UHC and we've got my favorite, Abba Caving. Guys, if you haven't tried Abba Caving, go ahead and do it. My personal high score is 708. Try to beat that. I think the weekly high score, we're going to start resetting scores every week too, so that you might be able to get a weekly high score, because right now, the, the current high score, the all-time high score, which we'll be keeping track of as well, is over 900 points. Um... <laughs> It's ridiculous. I've tried many, many times. I can't get close to 900 points. Mine is 708, and I think that's pretty dang good. We're also adding a couple other game modes, which I shall not mention now, but sooner rather than later, I would say within the next couple weeks, we'll have at least one, if not two, new game modes. Possibly a mini game mode, much like Abbey Caving, and possibly a full-fledged server, much like the Zoot SMP server. So, if you guys are interested in playing some games for free, um, feel free to head over and, uh, and get started on some Omega Minecraft. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. I'm on there a lot because I'm addicted to Ava Caving. Plus, I play uh, the Zoo SMP series that I'm doing. I play from that server, Zoo SMP 1. If you're just joining out a Zoo SMP server, though, I recommend you join Zoo SMP 2 because for some reason... It's a lot less lag. There's virtually no lag on Zoo SMP2 as opposed to Zoo SMP1. It could be that Zoo SMP1 was like the first one and then I joined and then there's like lots of people who tried to join and stuff. So yeah, it probably caused a lot more lag than necessary. But like I said, if you're, if you're interested in joining, I mean, the server is not very, very old, so you're not very far behind at all when it comes to stuff like this. Uh, so yeah, feel free to join. It's 100% free. There's a tutorial on how to install the mod pack, which is super, super simple. And you be, you could be uh, on the Zoo SMP, SMP server in no time. All right, I've mined what I think is going to be enough to finish the project. We've got this side pretty much all complete. It is going to be one floor taller, but this is just the, the pattern that I'm going with. Of course, you've got the cubes from the front emerging on the side, which is nice. Now, the only one re remaining, I guess, the only side remaining is the back here. And I have some ideas on how to do that. As you can see, this side's already taller than that side. I am going to even it all out, make it all nice. I love the way it looks. Honestly, even next to that building there, very, very cool. And then once I put the windows and the and the glowing lights on the inside, at least they look that they're kind of glowing. They're not actually glowing. It's going to look in. Incredible. I hope I have enough and a site. I don't have a whole lot of the blackstone left. I'm a little bit worried about that, but we'll see. 
The pattern for the back is officially chosen, as you can see, but once again, I've run out of blackstone. I have plenty, well, I wouldn't say plenty. I have some andesite left, probably enough to finish the project, but I'm out of blackstone, so I've got to go and get some blackstone. Look at it, guys. we got a 5x5 five five cube here. It's more of a rectangle. If you look at the side of the, the alleyway there, you'll see that it's more of a rectangle. But then we got a 4x4 four four cube here, and then in the other corner, we got 3x3 three three cube. It's all very cubist. Nailed it. Um, so, obviously, it's very, very bland right now. I'm going to add some details in the windows and the color and lighting and stuff like that. And then eventually we'll add some signs, all kinds of cool stuff. But for now, I got to once again go search for more Blackstone because I am out. If only there was a shop at Spawn that sold Blackstone. I'm pretty sure there is, but I don't want to pay the prices. So I'm going to go mine it myself. Here we go, guys. The building is complete. Well, the main structures anyways. I haven't added any details yet, and that is what we're going to do next. I want to try to make this thing look like um, a, a cyberpunky building. This, if you're confused, let me go over some things. Obviously, we went with the QB theme. So every side of the building has some sort of cube on it, okay? Um, this here is like the elevator shaft. Is it more echoey in here today? I apologize if I'm more echoey than usual. I uh, decluttered my office. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess the clutter was helping out. Um, so this is the front of the building officially. I don't know where yet I want to put the entrance, whether it be on the side here or whether it be right here. I think I'm just going to do it right here. And we're going to make some parking spots or something here in this little area. Of course, I mentioned before, we're going to have a bit of a railing. I might as well put the railing on. Oh, I don't have the railing materials necessary. We'll go back and get that. But anyway, that's the front of it. This is the side of it. Let me show you the back of it. Uh-huh, I really like the pattern on the back. It's very simple, but I like it. And then this is the other side of it, the left side, if you will. Love the left side. And then at the top, I added a little detail. Most of these buildings, the, the top of the buildings are kind of repetitive. Got a little bit of this. Well, if you, I mean, I'm, I'm discounting this stuff, right? I haven't done this stuff in a lot of the buildings. I'm just talking about the top of the buildings themselves. They're pretty repetitive. This time I did a little something. You have a platform here. I might even put a door there. And then you've got a little bit of the indentation and the blackstone at the top. I really like the way this building looks. To be honest, I wish I had done the entire city in this style of building. I think it fits the city perfectly. Let me see if we can see down here. Yeah, this is this is awesome. A nice narrow alleyway. Um, I have to figure out a way to make this more. Woo! I'm okay. Cyberpunky. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a pipe going all the way up through here in between these two windows and then probably just like coming in and uh, and entering through there. Um, what material should we use? That is a good question. I don't think diorite would look good. I'm using walls, by the way. I don't think this stuff would look good. Cobble, I think maybe polished blackstone would probably work best. I also don't want to repeat anything I've done too often or too much on this side. First off, let's close off this alleyway right here. Uh, oh, that's going to have to be turned into a single door because that makes no sense. Okay, let's let's close this off. Excuse me, I will take that. Oh, right, my inventory is full. This isn't good, guys. This isn't good. Anyway, this is what I wanted to do for the time being. Just go ahead and put a little fence here. This will be... I guess we have to put the fence there. And possibly... Let's go ahead and put another row of this here. Okay, that should be fine. Anyway, uh, over here, this is where this stuff is gonna go, right? The, the, like the pipe and stuff. So we'll put the pipe right here. Oh, goodness. That scared me. I thought for sure he was after me. I don't think he was. Anyway, oh, nope, not that. We're gonna put this all the way up. I'm all the way up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, okay, we're going to go all the way up with this thing, all the way to the top here. Maybe we'll even have it reach over the wall, if I have enough of these blocks on me. I do. We'll, re we'll have it reach over the wall and onto the other side, because there's no lip here. So, I think that might look pretty cool. So, we'll go like this, like that, and like that. And then we can have uh, a little of this over here. We'll we'll remove that block and we'll just put, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh gosh. Man, my jumping skills leave something to be the desired today. Whew. 
Oh, hi, Creeper. We've also got to fill in some of these windows. I totally missed that one. I'm not very good at this. Uh, yeah, I'm having an off day, apparently, guys. Having an off day. Are these guys going to find a way over here to murder me? I hope not. Let's keep climbing up. You know what they say. If they can't get to you, it's because you're too high up for them. Very popular saying amongst teenagers. Hmm, this side of the building here needs a little bit of repair. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill in... I'm going to fill in this side with this stuff. And then I'm going to fill in this side with this stuff. And that should tie in everything nicely. At least I hope so. Come on, up we go. Let's see how this looks initially. Oh yeah, this is going to look good. Oops. <laughs> Lots of mistakes happening today. <laughs> it's a Friday, guys. It's a Friday. At least... It is when I'm recording this or when you're watching this. I don't even know what day it is. I got to be honest with you. Um, let's go and put... Okay, now wait. Can I do... Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want the polished. We want the brick version of it. Here we go. That looks good. A nice smooth transition. Oh, man. Every time I see like... It's weird. And what I'm about to say might sound even weirder. But every time I see like little corners like that, it really just makes me want to live... Not live experience this world i really wish i could be like you know in this world for a day and just experience what it's like um to be in a cyberpunky thing but anyway all the windows now have glass in them so let's go ahead and get inside this uh thunderdome here because this is gonna be okay yep that's what i thought i thought it was gonna be bad didn't know it was gonna be this bad come here guys oh you got closer than i expected hey you guys are fighting each other i probably should let you finish each other ah what Oh, come on. All right. Uh, a couple hours later, and I've got some details going. We've got a little bit of uh, a little bit of air conditioning here, a little satellite there, a little sign here with an E. Trust me, it says it's an E above. You'll see when I turn on the shaders, it's going to look a lot better. Then we've got a little entrance here, a side door entrance. Oh, that's right. I forgot the, uh, the actual iron door, which I, for some reason, had in my inventory and not on the thing. Uh, we've got this right here. I don't know. It's some sort of... Um, heating cooling machine sure let's do that and it, it goes into the walls there on the side that's pretty cool huh we've got what else we got we got some railings here and there like right there right there i think i went every other railing for the lighting oh all the windows have been lit this looks very very different i made this like the elevator shaft and so i just made i decided to do like red light in there and again when i turn the shaders on you guys are going to be impressed um again the lighting over here be behind these windows is all done we've got this writing here on this side of this oh goodness whoa, whoa, whoa what's happening here what the heck was that um we've got this writing here on the side of the building looks really really awesome at night i don't know what it says you guys can make up what it says um we've got this little detail uh, line here of end rods going all along the side of the building that looks really good another satellite dish right there uh, over here we have more satellite dishes more railings uh, more air conditioning units um, but there's going to be something else right here there's going to be a big old illuminated neon sign i better sleep before it gets too late right here and we're going to work on that right after i sleep I think we're going to start it right here. We're going to bring it out two blocks. This is the little platform thing that our um, our sign's going to be sitting on. And then we're going to put magenta behind. Now, I've never used magenta on magenta before. So I'm a little bit worried about how this will look. But I think it'll look pretty, 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 pretty good. Uh, we're going to go all the way up here. This is the hard part to place. There we go all the way up through this full piece and i think about halfway up to there we will stop it at then we're going to cap it off with some more of these trap doors perfect now here comes the fun part kind of not really um again i'm going to make up words make up letters i mean i could put real letters and stuff i just feel like letters that you can't really read kind of add to the whole the whole um cyberpunky feel you know it's kind of mysterious and oh what does that mean i don't know do you know what it means no i'm sure that's what people sound like in this world probably not all right so we're gonna do something like this and we're gonna bring these all the way down this kind of looks like a number a backwards number one but that's okay that's good we don't want people to know what this stuff means very mysterious we're gonna do one full row here we're gonna separate all 
of the letters, quote unquote. Uh, we'll go like that, and then we'll do right there. That looks pretty good. Continuing down. Oh, you know it. When that white bat audio starts pumping, you know what time it is. It's time to see the city in the dark with shaders on. It's going to look beautiful. Are you guys ready? I am. Here we go. Every time I finish a build, it's looking cooler and cooler. The tilt tower is spinning. We've got our sign on that building there, which we can't see. This is the building we just finished. It fits right in. I love it. And I love this sign right here. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, what does it say? Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. Look at the little three fox hole sign right there. The hologram that runs along the highway. Soon it'll be surrounded by buildings as big, if not bigger than that one. Look at it, guys. Let's have a look at it from the sky real quick before mobs start spawning and ruining everything. There it is. There's the back of it. I feel like I'm going to add, well, obviously I am going to add some details to the top, like the, these other things that I've added to the top of this build, these buildings. So I'll add stuff to the top of this building too. The back of it looking pretty cool with that lettering there. It's kind of a lighting glitch happening there, which is really annoying. I'm not sure why that's happening, but it looks good. Let me show you guys the, aha, right here, right here. Oh no, this is going to get bad. No, 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 no. No, don't do it. Oh, you son of a, that's okay. Yeah, so the elevator is red and it barely looks different than the magenta. So that I'm happy with that. The elevator is cool. You know what? It'd be cool if I can like, somehow have something going up and down. Maybe I can do that with slime and pistons. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool if you saw every once in a while, like a platform going up and down. Uh, maybe if you guys have like a design that I could use, please tweet at me and let me know. There's the E building. The E stands for everything. I don't know what the E stands for. It might not even be an E. I just like the design of it. Looks kind of cool. And it kind of wraps around the light. It's kind of like a 3D holographic design, which really suits uh, the mood. And of course, this little tiny alleyway with the store that's going to sh sell shady things. An overlook of the highway here in this edge of town. And uh, yeah, that is going to be it, guys, for this build. I think it's looking pretty good. I might, as with all the other builds, I mean, they've gotten more and more detailed as time goes on because I go, like, I'll pass by and I'll see something that, that I don't like and I'll decide to add more things to it. So uh, I might even add more things to this one. But I really enjoyed this build. I missed building in Three Fox Hole, but you know what, guys? You know what? I missed the treehouse. Ah, oh, the treehouse is so peaceful and bright and soothing and relaxing. Hmm... Sorry, Scala, changed my mind. Okay, vintage beeps.